The Appalachian State Mountaineers ended their Southern Conference era with a win, defeating the Western Carolina Catamounts 48-27 at Kid Brewers Stadium on Saturday, November 23rd. App State closed their campaign at 4-8 overall and 4-4 in the conference. Appalachian redshirt sophomore starting quarterback Cameron Bryant completed a 39-yard pass to senior wide receiver Andrew Peacock in the first two minutes of the game. Immediately following that play, freshman running back Marcus Cox rushed the ball 13 yards into the Western Carolina end zone for the first touchdown. Senior place kicker Drew Stewart brought in the PAT and the score was 7-0 App State. On the following drive, Western Carolina sophomore starting quarterback Troy Mitchell completed a 21-yard pass to freshman tight end Tyler Sexton. After making his way downfield, Mitchell fumbled the ball. It was recovered by App State senior defensive lineman Adam Scott at the 13. ASU started their inherited possession strong with a 17-yard pass from Bryant to senior wide receiver Tony Washington. After a false start penalty on App, Cox rushed the ball 14 yards. Two plays later, Cox carried the ball 18 to the Catamount 44-yard line. Bryant found an opening on third down and four. He carried the ball 23 yards to the Catamount 15, and the Mountaineers were within scoring position. On the next play, Bryant connected with Cox on a short pass. He carried the ball 15 yards and into the end zone for the Mountaineers' second touchdown. Stewart kicked in the PAT, and the score is 14-0, App State. On ASU's next drive, Cox rushed the ball 17 yards, good for a first down. After three ensuing plays with no gain, App State was set up for a 38-yard field goal that was completed by Stewart. The score was 17-0 App State early into the second quarter. During the next ASU drive, Cox busted through the Catamount defense, taking the ball 56 yards and all the way into the end zone for his and the Mountaineers' third touchdown. Stewart made the PAT and the Mountaineers raised the score even higher, 24 to nothing, App State still at the top of the second quarter. The Catamounts struggled to convert third downs, ASU's Cam Bryant had no problem whatsoever connecting with Washington on a 50-yard pass that he took into the end zone. Stewart kicked in the PAT and the scores raised again, 31 to nothing, App State with eight minutes still left in the second quarter. What would have been an ordinary 34-yard punt from Western Carolina resulted in a fumble by Appalachian junior defensive back Joel Ross at their own 40-yard line. After some dispute on the field, the ball had been ruled in Catamount's favor. Not long afterwards, redshirt junior quarterback Eddie Sullivan found sophomore running back Darius Ramsey in the open. Ramsey juked out the app defense as he tumbled into the end zone, and the Catamounts were finally on the board. Junior place kicker Richard Sigmund made the PAT, and the score was 31-7 with less than five minutes remaining in the first half. On their next drive, Sullivan connected with Sexton on a 24-yard pass. WCU's quarterback got rocked with a hit by sophomore defensive lineman Thomas Bronson that sent the ball into the hands of App State. Senior inside linebacker Carl Anderson made his way into the Catamount end zone unscathed for his first touchdown of his career in App's fifth of the game. Stewart kicked in the PAT and the score was raised yet again, not even a minute into the third quarter. The Catamounts retaliated, translating a three-yard rush into a touchdown completed by junior running back Sean Warren. Sigmund kicked in the PAT and the score was 38-14, roughly four minutes into the third quarter. During the following kickoff, Washington received the ball at the 13-yard line and carried it all the way to the Catamount 39, spanning a total of 57 yards. Immediately afterwards, Washington caught a 24-yard pass thrown by Cam Bryant. From the 15, Cox rushed the ball but came up two yards shy of the end zone. That meant nothing to Cox as he simply dove over the remaining two yards and into the end zone for his fourth touchdown of the game in the Mountaineers' sixth. Stewart made the PAT and the score climbed again by seven with ample time remaining in the third quarter. On ASU's next drive, Stewart kicked a 48-yard field goal, putting three more points on the board with about seven minutes left in the third quarter. The Catamounts' following drive was promising. Sullivan threw an 18-yard pass to Sexton midfield. Redshirt freshman wide receiver CJ Goodman caught the ball and carried it for 11 yards to ASU's 38. Goodman also caught a 15-yard pass and took it to the ASU 11. The quarterback threw a pass to the end zone for a touchdown. Redshirt sophomore wide receiver Car Norris Benson was the recipient. After two two-point conversion attempts were penalized, the third was ruled unsuccessful. The score remained 48-20 going into the fourth quarter. At the top of the fourth quarter, App State fumbled and recovered the ball on fourth down, losing 14 yards on the turnover. However, the Mountaineers ensured the first play of that Catamount drive to be the last by intercepting a pass in the end zone. The interception was made by senior defensive back Roger Walker. One of the more notable plays during Western Carolina's following drive was a 24-yard pass completed by freshman wide receiver Terion Robinson. Sullivan rushed 14 yards past ASU's defense and into the end zone for the Catamount's fourth and final touchdown. 
Sigmund kicked in the PAT and the score was 48 to 27 with about five minutes left in the ball game. After running the ball 15 yards on the previous play, sophomore running back Ricky Ferguson carried it again, this time for 40. He tripped and brought himself down 20 yards shy of the end zone. The final score was Appalachian State 48, Western Carolina 27. It was an App State record-setting day for true freshman running back Marcus Cox, bringing the freshman rushing record to 215 yards. Cox also set a new record for total rushing yards made per season by a freshman at 1,250. This victory marks ASU's final game in the Southern Conference. Out of the 296 conference games played in over 42 seasons, App has won 204, lost 87, and tied 5. Appalachian State officially joins the Sunbelt Conference on July 1, 2014.